Gujarat National Law University is a national law university established under the Gujarat National Law University Act, 2003 in the state of Gujarat. The university is located at Gandhinagar, which is the capital of Gujarat and is located 23 km north of the city of Ahmedabad. The statute provides that the Chief Justice of India or a senior Supreme Court judge serve as the visitor of the university. The director, Bimal N. Patel serves as the chief administrator. The university started in 2004 and has five batches of 180 students each under training. History GNLU was formed in the year 2003 by the efforts of the then Solicitor General of India, Kurit Ravel, the then Chief Minister Narendra Modi and the Bar Council of India. The university is based on the structure of National Law School of India University. GNLU was the seventh national law university to be set up in the country. It was established with the active support of the Government of India, the Government of Gujarat and the Judicial Fraternity. V.S. Mani was the first director. Topic courses offered GNLU is the sole national law university NLU in India which offers integrated law degree courses in five distinct streams, Bachelor of Arts BA, LLB Hans, Bachelor of Commerce BCom, LLB Hans, Bachelor of Business Administration BBA, LLB Hans, Bachelor of Social Work BSW, LLB Hans, Bachelor of Science BSc, LLB Hans, LLM courses are offered in, International and and Comparative Law Corporate and Commercial Law New Economic Laws Constitutional and Administrative Law Intellectual Property Rights The university also offers doctoral PhD programs in law and other interdisciplinary fields along with various diploma programs. The university actively promotes research in maritime and real estate laws. Diploma and special certificate programs are offered in environmental law criminology and forensic management labor law, labor welfare, and personnel management internet law and policy real estate laws intellectual property, law, management and policy entrepreneurship management and corporate laws law and economics GANLU offers online diploma courses on intellectual property law, advanced business laws, and cyber law. GNLU also has a summer school certificate program of cyber law and cyber security. The GNLU Indian Business and Commercial Laws Academy also conducts a summer school in corporate laws. <laughs> University officials The Chief Justice of India serves as the Chairman of the General Council of the University. He also serves as the visitor and ex officio chancellor of the university. Bimal N. Patel, a former United Nations civil servant, scholar, and academician of international law and diplomacy, is the director and vice chancellor of the university. He has prepared administrative, procedural, and substantive jurisprudence of the International Court of Justice and the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and the International Labour Organization Administrative Tribunal. Geneva. He has delivered numerous lectures, including one at Cambridge University, UK, and has received several honours. He also served at the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, The Hague, Netherlands. Registrar, Dr. Thomas Matthew Dean Academic Affairs Professor Dr. Ravindra Kumar Singh Dean Research Professor Dr. Renita Nagar Dean Student Welfare Dr. Sugnesh Chudasama Dean Extension Dr. Viral Pandya Dean Training Drive Sarah Gori Topic Admissions Admissions to GNLU were originally done on the basis of a separate entrance exam conducted by the university itself after a Supreme Court ruling directing that all law entrance examinations must be clubbed together, the Common Law Admission Test CLAT was introduced in 2008. The first CLAT was conducted by NLSIU. As of 2014, all admissions in GNLU, for both undergraduate and postgraduate programs, are made on the basis of performance in the CLAT. In 2013, for the undergraduate CLAT, a total of 30,000 students contested for 180 seats, making the examination one of the most competitive in India. 
GNLU has an acceptance rate of a mere 0.012%. Schools of excellence Gujarat National Law University has these schools of excellence in particular fields of law. These schools are as follows School of Law, Science and Technology, School of Public Law and Policy Sciences, School of Criminal Law and Criminology, School of Law and Economics, School of Personal Laws. School of Social Studies School of Physical and Life Sciences School of Studies in ADR Mechanism School of Disaster Management Topic Centers Centers of Excellence present at GNLU function in niche areas of the economy for the dissemination of specialized knowledge and professional excellence MOS and active academic, research partnership and collaboration at the international, national and state levels with the University of Mauritius, University of Malaya, Cuts Institute of Regulation and Competition, New Delhi national, Haifa University, Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Israel, University of Barcelona, IDSE, Institute Barcelona, Spain, United Nations Institute for Training and Research UNITAR, Geneva, Switzerland, World Trade Institute WTI, Bern, Switzerland Ireland, University of Rome, La Sapienza, Rome, Italy, University of Copenhagen, Faculty of Law, Copenhagen, Denmark, The Hague University of Applied Sciences, The Hague, The Netherlands. Gujarat Forensic Science University, Pandit Deendale Petroleum University, Ruksha Shakti University, Adani Institute of Infrastructure Management, Nurma University are some of the local collaborations. Optional papers on foreign legal and judicial systems are taught by visiting foreign professors. Center for Distance Education Center for Food Security and Agro-Economy Center for Foreign Policy and Security Studies Center for Sports Law Center for Private International Law Center for Environmental Law Center for Banking Investment and Taxation Center for Public International Law Center for Corporate and Competition Law Center for Constitutional and Administrative Law Center for Business and Public Policy Center for Law and Economics GNLU Law and Economics Committee GLEC. Competitive Exam Guidance Committee The research centers undertake projects which are funded by the Government of India, Government of Gujarat The United Nations Development Programme among others. The university also conducts several short and medium term orientation, training and refresher courses for NGOs, government officials and public administrators, United Nations officials, armed forces, police, legal professionals including members of the bar and the bench, other administrative authorities and corporate officials. Faculty members at the center along with student and teaching research associates aid the state and union government in drafting legislation in various commercial and corporate matters. The research centers also offer research internships to students from National Law University as well as other law colleges. GNLU is also an academic partner to the institutions of governance, judiciary and the executive in providing training by experts from both India as well as abroad. In 2013, training programs were held for the Indian Navy, Coast Guard, Reserve Bank of India, IPS, IRS, IAS officers, judges and advocates, diplomats and legal advisors of different Southeast Asian countries on topics like money laundering, white-collar crime, economic offences, diplomacy, maritime security, cyber and internet laws and creating interface between law and management. Faculty Since this is a national law university, it attracts judges of the Supreme Court as well as high courts to take classes for the students. Faculty in GNLU have attended Western universities like Cambridge University, Leiden University, University of New Hampshire School of Law, University of Sussex, Amsterdam University, University of Cologne, Dalhousie University, National University of Singapore, University of Essex, amongst others. 
Lecturers educated in India are alumni of institutions such as Delhi University, NLSIU, TIS, RMLNLU, HNLU, ILS Law College, Symbiosis Law School, Kerala University, Jawaharlal Nehru University and, in a recent trend from GNLU itself. Some of the faculties have also worked at different corporate houses and multinational companies before joining GNLU. In addition to lectures by permanent faculty members, the university organizes lectures and interactive seminars attended by jurists, lawyers and academicians from India and abroad. Professors from Gujarat's other institutions visit the campus and take classes. Professors from institutions such as the Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad, the PDPU, the IRMA, Nirma University of Science and Technology, and Maharaja Sayaji Rao University often visit GNLU. Topic endowed research fellows Leading corporates and PSUs along with the Government of India has instituted research chairs in fields of law, Cyril Amarshand Mangald is and co-chair on ethics in everyday legal profession Navinchandra Desai Law Foundation Chair to promote research and provide assistance to litigation opting students Kaitan and Co. Fellowship in Mergers and Acquisitions Microsoft India Place Chair Professor in Intellectual Property Rights Gujarat Maritime Board Chair Assistant Professor in Maritime Laws Gujarat Council on Science and Technology Chair Professor in Intellectual Property Rights ONGC Fellow and Assistant Professor in International Contracts Gujarat Council on Science and Technology Fellow and Assistant Professor in Intellectual Property Rights SJVN Fellow in Hydro Power Developments and Energy Laws Gujarat Council Council on Science and Technology Fellow and Associate Professor in Intellectual Property Rights Terry Hydro Development Corporation Limited THDC Fellow in Hydro Power Developments and Environmental Laws Gujarat Safai Kamdar Development Corporation Fellow in Manual Scavenging Law and Practice Ministry of Earth Sciences Fellow and Assistant Professor in International Law NTPC Fellow in Sustainable Development and Environmental Laws Microsoft India Fellow in Intellectual Property Rights Rural Electric Electrification Corporation of India Rec. Fellow in Hydro Power Developments and Energy Laws National Hydroelectric Power Corporation NHPC. Fellow in Hydro Power Developments and Environmental Laws Microsoft India Fellow and Assistant Professor in Intellectual Property Rights Gujarat Council on Science and Technology Fellow in Intellectual Property Rights GNLU Fellow in Maritime Law Policy and Practice and Law of the Sea Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited BHEL. Fellow in Transfer of Technology Technology Laws Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited GUVNL Fellow and Teaching and Research Associate in Energy Law Policy and Practice GNLU CCEL Fellow in Real Estate Laws Policy and Practice Endowed Research Fellows undertake projects and high-level research on specialized topics on legal research. GNLU is consolidating its research eminence gradually with the assistance of national and international corporate houses, law firms, public sector undertakings, government departments. The fellowships create a unique students research action group in the different fields of law to provide research inputs in those fields. The research fellows who are academically well qualified guide the student community to gain insights into these upcoming field and for shaping a better understanding in these fields. The research activities are complemented by periodical reports, pre-legislative research, commentaries, an annual bulletin on the issues of the specified field and extension activities such as conferences, seminars, and round-table discussions. This latest availability of funding and phenomenon of increasing academic partnership with the institutions of governance, judiciary, executive, economy and civil society enable GNLU to carry out applied legal and interdisciplinary research in various areas. Topic. CLAT 2014 Gujarat National Law University GNLU has assumed the convenership of CLAT 2014 and held the first core committee meeting of CLAT 2014 involving vice-chancellors, directors of 14 national law universities across India on of October 2013. GNLU has introduced centralized online counseling to help thousands of parents and students in securing admission to the premier law schools of India. Topic: Publications. Topic: GNLU Law Review. 
The GNLU Law Review was started in 2008 with the objective of knowledge sharing and dissemination among the legal fraternity. It is the university's flagship review. The GNLU Law Review is one of the few in India which accepts submissions of articles from Expresso, an online journal submission system. It is published bi annually and is entirely managed by the editorial board under the guidance of its advisory panel comprising jurists, practitioners, and legal experts from academia and practice. Circulation includes the Supreme Court judges' libraries, the High Court's judges' libraries, law universities in India and abroad, law firms, senior advocates and law students. The Law Review is published biannually under the supervision and guidance of its advisory panel headed by Mr. Justice P. N. Bhagwati, former Chief Justice of India. <laughs> Gujarat Law Journal This is a journal in English in the rapidly developing field of law. It is published half-yearly with an aim to spread and popularize law education across the state. GNLU Journal of Law Development and Politics The GNLU Journal of Law Development and Politics GJLDP is a biannual, interdisciplinary journal which focuses on law, development, and politics. It is published by the editorial board of Gujarat National Law University and is administered by faculty and students of the university. It provides readers with information on developments affecting law, development and political issues. The advisory board is composed of Justice Dr. B.S. Chauhan, Judge, Supreme Court of India, Justice Dilip Gupta, Judge, Allahabad High Court and Abhishek Manu Singhvi, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court of India, to name a few. GJLDP receives substantial support and assistance from its Board of Advisors. The Board of Advisors is composed of judges of various courts, senior advocates, legal practitioners and academicians around the country. The Board of Advisors advises the Board of Editors on issues relating to practice in the law field, the organization, and dissemination of an academic legal publication, and the maintenance and development of relations in various areas of law. <laughs> Developing World Review on Trade and Competition DWRTC is a biannual journal published by the GNLU in collaboration with the World Trade Organization from 2011. Within a short time, it has got immense recognition from the legal academia all over the world. The journal deals with the burning issues regarding the legal implications on the trade and commercial conflicts in the international scenario. Academic setup. The curriculum of the law school is based on the Research-Based Teaching University a unique teaching curriculum followed only by GNLU and follows a two-semester-per-year pattern. The curriculum is decided by the professor concerned itself and not by the Board of Studies, which gives the professor a lot of flexibility. The curriculum is set by international standards. The courses include project work, report writing, research, and analysis. Under the RBTU, each faculty of GNLU prepared the course outline, devised syllabus based on their first in-house research and consultation with subject experts across the country and the world. The teaching of each subject now includes leading judgments, legislations, and pending bills at national and state level in their syllabus for reference purposes the university gives a lot of importance to research-based projects. Mooting is compulsory in the first semester. All students taking admission in an undergraduate course will have to learn and clear first three levels of any one language Arabic, Chinese, French, Russian, Spanish, German, Japanese, Swahili, and Sanskrit other than English during the first three years. <laughs> Legal Incubation Center The law school has a specialized incubation center to mentor law graduates aiming to be legal entrepreneurs. In a bid to instill business skills to start a legal venture, the law school has set center on the lines on top B schools. It is the first legal incubation center of its kind in India. 
It will give an opportunity to two GNLU graduates at a time to become initial incubates as it aims to create jobs, train entrepreneurs, have innovative startups, legal firms, and companies. The incubation center will be started with 10 lakh rupees to create physical infrastructure such as office space, provide seed funds apart from others to promote entrepreneurship in the knowledge-driven profession. Topic GNLU Public International Law and Maritime Academies GNLU organizes a public international law academy for diplomats, scholars, and teachers of the international law. In the 2014 edition, a total 18 participants from Bangladesh, Bhutan, Botswana, Lesotho, Pakistan, Trinidad and Tobago and India participated in the academy. Radha Ivory, lecturer, Brisbane, Australia, Professor Cheng Chia Jui, Secretary General of the Curatorium, Shaman Academy of International Law, Shaman, China, Professor Chris Maina Peter, Member, International Law Commission, K. Paramas Warren, Associate Professor of Law, GNLU, D. B. Shakotkar, PVSM, A. V. S. M., V. S. M., Narinder Singh, Member, International Law Commission, M. M. A. G. Marcus P. Baham, Department of European, International and Comparative Law, Vienna, Professor Bimal N. Patel, Professor of International Law and Director, Gujarat National Law University, Professor James Kroska, Professor of Oceans Law and Policy, Stockton Center for the Study of International Law, U.S. Naval War College, RE, USA took lectures during the 2014 edition of the Academy. In 2014 edition it was organized in collaboration with the Swiss Foreign Affairs Ministry, 2015 with the National Maritime Foundation and 2016 edition with U.S. Naval War College. <laughs> Legal History Museum The Indian Legal History Museum housed at GNLU is aiming to represent the development of civilization in India by exhibiting artifacts of legal heritage. It is the first legal history museum in India. The museum is divided into three floors basically one can understand here the history of 5,000 years civilized has given us a rich heritage of diversified religions, beliefs, languages, scripts, arts and cultures. Each change or diversion in history has been recorded in each category given above and ultimately resulted in growth judiciary and administration of justice in this country. The museum is divided into three floors. Each floor will be designed in chronological sequence to trace and learn the legal 14th century CE. It will showcase the legal historical contents from Indus Valley civilization to the dynasties of Mauryan, Gupta, Shunga, Barhat, Kastrapa, Ganga, Vijayanagar, Pallav, Chola, Pala and Sultanate era. The first floor will have exhibit covering the legal history of 14th-18th century CE. The exhibition will comply to showcase the later medieval period by depicting largely Mughal era, various company period and religious texts and icons of law and justice. The second floor will exhibit the legal history contents from the 19th century CE to till date. The exhibits will the story of British period in India to the independent India. On the third floor we will showcase a miniature form of the courtroom of Supreme Court of India. There will be a section of around the world, depicting salient features of the legal system in different and noteworthy countries. The exhibition will also have a section of Hall of Fame. The museum will make sure of using all interactive devices to make visiting experience learning with entertainment. I. Each floor is designed in chronological sequence to trace and learn the legal heritage of India. The museum has a reception area with cloakroom and museo shop. It will also have its publications i.e. brochures, newsletter, guidebook to the museum etc. It will also have its conservation facility to conserve cultural heritage. The museum has the original certificate of Sardar Patel's admission to the bar at Lincoln's Inn. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Extracurricular activities. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Moot Court. Moot courts and other legal events are held in the university, as a part of the curriculum as well as an extracurricular activity. The university has a moot court committee for conducting moot court activities. Students participate in national and international moot court activities have won laurels to the university. GNLU won the India rounds of the prestigious Philip C. Jessup International Law Moot Court Competition in 2016. 
In 2017 the university team won the Stetson International Environmental Moot Court competition. Topic: Student Activities Committee. The Student Activities Committee, popularly known as SAC, is an organization of students who work to promote extracurricular activities in the university. The various student activities organized by the SAC offer students the much needed break from the busy, officious and monotonous schedule of law school. The SAC caters to diverse student interests varying from cultural pursuits like music and dance to literary activities like quizzing and music. Specific student involvements in films, books, etc. are also nurtured by the SAC. SAC organizes acoustic night and movie night every month. The SAC consists of nine clubs which address the varied student interests. The SAC also organizes the annual five-day inter-university literary and cultural fest called Pentagram. The event is scheduled for March and is marked by different themes on the five days. Students challenge each other in a motley range of activities. Topic. Debating society GNLU has an active debating society in place. It is the most active in the Gujarat debate circuit and the law school regularly participates in most of the domestic debating tournaments. GNLU also hosted the inaugural edition of the GNLU debate. The inaugural edition of the GNLU debate drew large participation from almost all national law universities and other universities active in the debating circuit. The idea for the debate was to bring the British parliamentary debate format to the national debating circuit and provide a preparatory ground for the WUDC World Universities Debating Championship, the most prestigious debating championship in the world. The GNLU debate in its inaugural edition itself has now earned the name to be one of the most prestigious debating championships in India. GNLU students have won the Nirma University Chanakya National Law University debate, best adjudicator position in the Stella Maris British Parliamentary Tournament, the Senate debate, and Christ University Parliamentary debate, broke into the semi-finals of the RV debate, NLS debate and also reached the novice finals of the NALSAR debate 2013. Many students have also participated in Model United Nations, Mock Parliaments, and other allied competitions. <laughs> Legal Services Committee The Legal Aid Committee organizes legal knowledge camps and has conducted programs to increase legal awareness. It has set up a free legal aid clinic which is run by student members. The GNLU Legal Services Committee has been set up by way of Section 4 K of the Legal Service Authorities Act, 1987, which reads as develop, in consultation with the Bar Council of India, programs for clinical legal education and promote guidance and supervise the establishment and working of legal services clinics in universities, law colleges and other institutions. The motto of the LSC stands as Assertion Awareness Action. LSC's endeavors and objectives are in consonance with its motto. The objectives of LSC are attained by making use of different platforms and utilizing various approaches and methods legal aid cells, skits, plays, workshops, surveys, research on contemporary issues and policy making. The Legal Aid Cell, established under statutory law provides assistance through a variety of methods, including traditional casework, summary advice, self-help, community legal education, community development and policy reform initiatives. The LSC has adopted four villages of Gandhinagar district, viz. Raisin, Kudasan, Koba and Shapur. Free legal aid clinics run by four teams on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Apart from these, legal literacy, educational activities, and awareness programs are undertaken in villages. Sports Committee GNLU has a sports committee in place to conduct sports like cricket, table tennis, football, basketball, lawn tennis, badminton and volleyball and an additional task to manage the gym of GNLU. Topic. Student Research Development Committee 
With an aim to create and promote research culture and explore research potential and bring innovation into the overall academic, research and training environment of GNLU has established the Student Research Development Council. This council is run by students. The council can initiate, design, develop, plan, execute and monitor all research activities. The research shall aim to contribute to the GNLU's contribution to the civil society and nation building. The Council can draw members from all batches, LLB and LLM alike. The research activities may be undertaken by students in collaboration with counterparts from other Indian and foreign universities and institutions. Infrastructure Residence halls GNLU, as a fully residential university, provides separate hostels for girls and boys. Students are allotted double sharing rooms. The hostels have a common room for TV and other creative activities. It has a night mess, an indoor badminton court and TT tables inside the hostel premises. There is also a provision store to meet the daily requirements of the students. A beauty parlor for women and a hair salon are also established in the hostel premises. Guest houses are provided for visiting faculty and students. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Library. The GNLU library supports the teaching, learning and research needs of scholars, students and faculty of the university. It occupies the largest wing in administrative building and is spread over four floors with seating arrangement for 400 readers at once. It is fully air-conditioned to create the ambiance conducive to productive reading and research. It has a collection of more than 35,000 volumes of books, law reports and has a subscription of more than 150 journals, newspapers, reference books, and e-books. It contains books relating to subjects in law as well as non-law subjects like management, sociology, science and technology, history, economics, political science, international relations and English literature. The entire library building is covered by multiple wireless networks. Library functions and services are fully automated with state-of-the-art LMS software and latest RFID, M technology. Library catalog is a gateway to the holdings of the library, which is accessible to the students via the intranet and internet. The library provides current awareness CAS, selective dissemination of information SDI, literature search and bibliography compilation services to the users. The GNLU Library is one of the only law universities that provides access to the digital library of the Peace Palace Library The Hague, the Netherlands, having the largest collection of legal literature in the world. <laughs> <laughs> IT infrastructure The university has a computer laboratory with internet connection for more than 40 computers. The laboratory is on the university campus. The university has 200 computer systems and 10 servers in the campus. Computer systems are installed at the university library, classrooms, ICT division, GNLU centers, committees offices and administrative offices. Complete sets of AIR SC, HC, CRILG, GLHSC, HC, GLR are available in the computer systems of the library. Online law resources Westlaw, JSTOR, Manapatra, Hynonline, Taxman, CLA are also available to the users through the Internet in the campus. The university has Internet bandwidth connectivity of National Knowledge Network NKN BSNL. Wi-Fi network connectivity is available at the hostel, admin, library block and faculty cabin for Internet and Internet access. The university has video conferencing equipment for the video conferencing facility. A scanning and printing facility is available on the campus. Topic: Sports facilities. GNLU has an oval-shaped grass ground to play football and rugby. In addition to that, GNLU has provided well-furnished basketball courts O2, tennis courts clay and cemented, cricket ground Independent football court Badminton court Cemented cricket pitch for practice 
volleyball and throw ball court gymnasium a swimming pool and a billiards room are also planned topic <laughs> global seminars and conferences Every year, the university organizes international and national seminars and conferences in different areas of law. Noted dignitaries have delivered guest lectures at the university including four Chief Justice of India and 31 judges of the Supreme Court of India. Eminent jurists and administrators of India and abroad, judges and lawyers of the Supreme Court and High Court of Gujarat. It has a visiting professor and ambassador lecture series program in place to facilitate learning from international level professors. Each GNLU center conducts its own international and national conference and seminars annually. Topic: <laughs> Hague Academy of International Law program GNLU in collaboration with the Hague Academy of International Law, the Netherlands, concluded the 2013 edition of the external program of the Academy at the GNLU, which began on 1 November and ended on 8 November 2013. This program was organized for the first time in South Asia since its inception. The Hague Academy of International Law has collaborated with GNLU to hold this conference. Diplomats and administrators of more than 10 countries were present. Judges of the International Court of Justice and International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea were among the participants. Topic Global Maritime Conference to address policy formation, interlinked issues and concerns concerning maritime law, Gujarat National Law University GNLU organizes a two-day global event annually to conduct research and hold discussions with developed maritime nations of Europe, US, Japan, Australia and New Zealand and their R&D institutions with academicians and associated stakeholders of India and Asia. Ambassadors and diplomats of different nations took part in this conference along with senior officers of the Indian government. The United Nations has actively supported this conference and the keynote address was delivered by the Under Secretary General of the United Nations. Topic Baribandu Mohapatra and Gujarat National Law University Award for Community Service The Baribandu Mohapatra and Gujarat National Law University Award for Community Service BMGCS is an annual award for community service given to undergraduate or graduate students in India. Topic. Rankings The Gujarat National Law University was ranked 10th by India Today's India's Best Colleges 2017, Law. Third in India by Outlook India's Top 25 Law Colleges in 2017. And eighth in India by The Week's Top Law Colleges 2017. Topic. Criticism Topic 2016. In 2016, Patel and other faculty members of Gujarat National Law University were criticized by the Gujarat High Court in its order of Jamin Rajendra Brombat v. Gujarat National Law University and five others. The order had described GNLU as an epitome of injustice and set aside the order of a committee established by Patel to cancel a student's examination. GNLU filed a letters patent appeal appeal to a bench of two judges of the same high court along with an application for urgent hearing of the matter. The application for urgent hearing was dismissed by the Gujarat High Court. The Gujarat High Court finally disposed off the appeal by ordering an independent enquiry as agreed between the parties. Topic 2017 and 2018 In September 2017, then Chief Justice of India, Justice T.S. Thacker, constituted a committee to look into allegations of opaque hiring practices by Patel. In early 2017, a financial officer filed a petition against GNLU alleging that his oral termination was illegal. In April 2017 Justice Sonia Gokhani of the Gujarat High Court ordered that the employee be allowed to continue in service. GNLU appealed the High Court order but was asked by the court to ensure reinstatement of the employee. 
After taking the employee back into service, GNLU put him on leave. In February 2018 Gujarat High Court ordered Patel and the registrar of GNLU to comply with its earlier order in True Spirit. Topic alumni Many graduates of GNLU have been recruited by premier law firms of India and abroad. Students have joined Magic Circle law firms like Linklaters and Herbert Smith, LLP and foreign IPR firms like De Beauvoise and Plimpton and Satyapan and partners among others. The recruitment process starts from the end of the third year. The domestic law firms which have recruited students from GNLU to include Luthra and Luthra Law Offices, Kaitan & Co., Amarshand Mangaldas, Lakshmikumaran and Sridharan, Trilegal, and many others. Among companies, Assisi Bank, Union Bank, Reliance, Adani Group Tata Sons, Infosys and many more have recruited from campus. Regulators and government departments like the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, Competition Commission of India, Forward Markets Commission, SEBI, Enforcement Directorate also recruit students from GNLU. Many public sector units of Gujarat as well as other states also regularly recruit a large number of graduates from GNLU. Some graduates, albeit a minuscule number, pursue careers in litigation by joining the chambers of senior advocates in the Supreme Court of India or High Courts and Trial Courts. Some graduates have also embarked on careers in law teaching. Many students have interned at the United Nations and also have been placed at various United Nations organizations. Some of them do not enlist themselves for recruitment. Instead some of them have taken higher studies in universities like University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, Harvard Law School, University of Chicago Law School, New York University School of Law, Cornell Law School, the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy among others or they opt to take up judicial clerkship with judges of the Supreme Court of India. Some of the students have also joined as faculty and research associates at universities as well as global research centers. A very small percentage appears for the civil service examination and the judicial examinations as well as the armed forces examinations. Many alumni are now serving as civil judges, IAS, IRS, naval and army officers. See also List of universities in India Universities and colleges in India Education in India Distance Education Council University Grants Commission India.